Hi everyone! This is the first work video of the season and we're quite excited to get back into the garden. Today we will be working on restoring this graveled pathway here and the steps you can see in the background there. And the first part of the video, however, will be setting three new stepping stones. So let's go there, I will show you what we're doing. I will start to explain to you why we're doing this and how we're doing this. So first of all, you can see this step here. This has become a little bit run down over time. Uh, you see there's quite some mud in there, so the gravel has disappeared into the step because we don't use any underlay here. And here you can see that the last step to up here is quite high. So we tend to step here, which destroys this edge a little bit. Um, and this is why we decided uh, to put in, first of all, one more step here to adjust the height of the different steps. And uh, we will not do this that way we did it here, so just having a gravel step, we will be putting in a stone slab, which you can see here. So we already uh, put those uh, into the places where they're gonna go. Adam and I were playing around a little bit yesterday with those. And we will cut out the last step here, where you can see this slab here. And then we will turn also the direction of the pathway that it leads onto the stepping stones that are in the pond. And then the last one here, this is a very big slab we're going to be putting down here. Uh, this one then leads from the stepping stones in the pond onto the step and then uh, into the house here behind me. Right, so on this uh, step here, we will be filling in that part a little bit to make the step turn this way because at the moment it turns that way which is kind of the shortcut way into the house and so not really directly leading you over these stepping stones now this is a good option to have anyway you know for elderly people or children the stepping stones aren't necessarily the safest pathway so having this as a, a backup pathway is always good but we want that the pathway leads you to those stepping stones here so this is why we will be filling in some soil that we dig out here into that corner of that step here to make it turn this way and then also we will take out this little bit here so this is just soil here as well to make the step turn this way so to say and the next step will be this one here uh, once we have this dug out then this one will be placed pretty much as it is now that fits quite well we test walked it already yesterday and um, then it leads you really as you can see directly onto this pathway here before we do that however we will place this one here and the big one there and this one is a little different to place this one will be placed in a sand bed because here we have this uh, big gravel, this is basalt gravel, and underneath the gravel we have underlay, and underneath the underlay we have about a foot or 30 centimeters um, deep uh, gravel layer, and um, this is for drainage purposes, and this is why this one here and that one over there will be placed in a sand bed. So we'll, we will be starting with those two, and then do this one last. Okay, before we get started with this one here, I will be test walking it again. This is very important before laying down the stepping stones uh, because they have to be comfortable to walk on. So for your step sizes. Okay, so this one is just in a temporary position, but it's kind of like the final place where it's going to be. So if I come from here, then I step onto this and keep going that way. So that's fine. And then I test this one as well one step and stepping up and the entrance door is behind you so that fits fine so we'll get started with the small one first i will be lifting this one out of the way basically turning it around for now and putting it up here these uh slates or slabs by the way we bought them second hand the other day which is really great and we think it is slate we're not 100 percent sure though good the next step i'll grab a bucket and I will just pick up these stones because due to the size of these stones, it's uh, actually easiest to just pick them up. It's no good using a shovel here or rake. I'll just do that quickly. Oh, 
all the stones are out of the way. You can see the old underlay that is still here. It's still intact, that is good. And now, before we're putting the sand down, <coughs> excuse me, I will put this one back down to check and see how it sits. Okay. And then, I think like so, that looks quite nice. Let's double check this again. Yes, that's great. Okay, so what we want to achieve is once the sand is in, we will move this out of the way again to do that. This one will sit a little bit higher and we want this to sit so that the, the surface of this sits at the, about the same level as the top uh, surface uh, of this gravel. So this is what we want to do here. And I think this looks good because now it's a little bit too low, but once the sand is underneath, it will lift it up a bit and then it will sit perfectly fine. We lifted this one out of the way again. Now it's the right way around and at the angle how we want it to be placed here so we don't get this wrong. This is the sand we're using. This is building sand, not uh, playground sand for play pits. Uh, that's because building sand is dry and stays dry. The other one, the playground sand, it's also just sand, so it's basically no different, but uh, it's, it sucks up moisture. And for us here, because we're in a hardiness zone six, so we get freezing winters, uh, it can lead to the sand actually building clumps because it just freezes together, which is no good for putting it under the stones. So that's why we're using building sand. Okay, let me start to distribute this. up about half now a bit more than half the bag this is a 25 kilo bag that's about 60 pounds of sand and i will start to distribute the sand now more towards the sides and build like a little uh, crater in the middle here that's because we want mainly the the edges or the outer bits to sit on the sand because if the middle is too high then the stones will not sit properly so let's start with that I'm trying to guess the the size of this based on the size of the stone. It should be about right. And if we need some more sand, we will see. So sometimes setting these stepping stones like that just takes a little bit of uh, time and maybe more than one approach. But I think this way to compensate for this. I think that one we could give a try. Okay. So I'll just Okay. Right. And that is looking pretty good. So that doesn't move. So I always check by pushing down on all the like corners and edges and stepping on it. That looks good. I think we can leave it at that. Now let me check the position. I think also that test walking it again. That looks good. So we're gonna leave it like that. Perfect. That's beginner's luck. That's what that is. First time <laughs> round. Beginner's luck. <laughs> okay, so I have to get a spirit level because Adam didn't trust me with setting this. <laughs> um, so looking along this way, this is pretty much correct this side here is not quite right so the slab needs to come up on that side a little bit you can see i'm just lifting it by what's that maybe a centimeter or a few millimeters so what we will do i will whilst looking at the spirit level i'll be lifting it and putting some sand underneath see if that's enough i may have to refill some sand here No, that's looking pretty good. It's almost a bit too much now. But that looks fine. Checking this side again. Yes, that's also very good. Okay. Maybe a little bit. A little bit on that side. Yes. 
Now here we go. Now it's perfect. <laughs> Good. I can't give you that. <laughs> Why have I been doing the uh, the paving slabs for years? It takes you two minutes. <laughs> Professional. <laughs> okay. Good. Then next, uh, I will be filling it a little bit more sand around the edges here, um, just to make sure that you know the sand doesn't disappear over time and then i'll be filling in the gravel and then uh, that's this one done then we'll move on to the big one Alright, with this one here we're going to do the same process, I'm not going to explain it again, it's exactly what we did there. Uh, because you can see the size of this one, Adam is going to help me lift it out of the way. Then we're taking the gravel off, putting the sand down and then putting this one down. Ready? One, two, three, go! <laughs> That one in and it sits very well we're not going to move it again we just adjusted it a little bit so that this edge here which seems to be a cut edge is kind of in parallel with this edge here and we checked with the spirit level uh, this wear long is very good this way here it's sloping a little bit that side which is good because that's a larger slab so the water can run off to this side so now i will um, push the sand in along the edges here again and then start back filling with the gravel. <laughs> okay and the last few here and then we're done with this one and then we're on to the last one which is the step which will be a little bit trickier, but we'll manage. So here we go. Right, we have flipped this slab over for now. And what I will do first is remove the moss. If you have been watching our channel, then you know how much we appreciate the moss and always try to encourage it. So I will take a thin layer off and place the moss on the side for now, and then we will put it somewhere else. And then I will also, as I tried to explain before, try to turn this step a little bit, which means I will take this part out and some of that soil I will fill into this. So the step isn't going this way anymore, so it's going that way. And also I will remove this gravel here and then we will, uh, in the next step, then cut out the step. <laughs> So we have dug this one a little bit bigger and I will flip this stone over to see how that fits. So 
So the idea is that this corner here, you can see this is a, a cut corner as well. And we want to hide that basically. So we just want to see the, the naturally broken off corners. This one is okay, but that bit we're gonna hide later on a little bit. Okay, next uh, for this one here, we decided to set this one in gravel. So the gravel that we have on the pathway instead of sand. And this is what we're gonna do next. This is our pathway gravel. This is pretty much all we have left, but we're waiting for the truck to arrive to bring more to restore the pathway. So I'm gonna pour that here. Again, trying to make this kind of a crater shape, so a little bit more on the outside, so along the uh, edges, or just underneath the edges of this one. So same principle as with the sand. And that's it pretty well. Here also I will push in the gravel um, along the edges like I did with the sand, so same way. And also I'll check with the spirit level to see how we're looking here. So checking here with the spirit level like this, it's leveled, that's good. And like that, it is sloping forward a little bit, which we want so that the water can run off because also this is a, a larger slab. And what I'm doing now, I found a little bit more gravel and I'm just um, filling in around the sides here and pack it in. And then I will, especially this bit here, which was the cut corner, cover that with soil. So some of this we've taken out, I'll pack that back in here. And then the last step will be to put the gravel on top and then build this step back. final shape and you see the last step here and actually after digging this back out you see this is the original step here with the gravel on we decided to make put another slab like this in there uh, we're not going to show you that it's the same as with this one so we set it in gravel and then pack it with soil because it ties in better because the original idea was to continue the gravel pathway from here but as you can see now this has become a proper step as well and it just fits better to the oval picture to have another slab here as well. So that means that shape for now is finished. What I will do now is move some of the uh, gray gravel back onto the soil here and also put some of the moss back that we took off before. <laughs> Then we're done here, except for this last one, which we will be putting in, we'll show you at the end of the video. And we're waiting for the gravel truck. It's coming in a minute. This is our delivery of two big bags of this gravel. This is a quartz gravel that we're using for this pathway. Now one big bag is 1000 kilos. 
this type of gravel is only available in big bags. You can see there's already some missing from this one. That's because it's now a little bit later and Adam has already taken some of this one to refresh some other areas in the garden, which you will be seeing on the next garden tour. Now I will be starting to shovel this gravel into the wheelbarrow and start to restore the pathway. <laughs> restoring this pathway is because we're not using underlay on this pathway you can see here these patches of soil that are coming through that's because the gravel is sinking naturally into the soil from snow from rain just over the years and so this is why we want to restore that because when it gets uh, rainy again or wet again then all this turns into muddy patches really which is not ideal for a pathway so this is why we're just going to be filling gravel on top of the pathway especially where these patches are and then at the end we'll rake it all out so it's all an even picture again You can see the piles of gravel we made along the pathway and now it's time before it gets too much to distribute it so we're going to be working our way downhill here this is on a slight slope not sure how much you can see it on camera and um, Adam prefers to do it with the shovel I prefer the rake so I'm gonna make a start with the rake and see how that goes <laughs> gravel is a little bit too thick and you notice that by walking on it this is difficult to see when you're raking it but you see when I walk I kind of um, roll away and that's because this gravel is uh, a round gravel so the stones they're not interlocking they are just rolling away uh, for this kind of slope we have that's just a slight slope that's okay if you have a slope that is steeper then this is not an ideal type of gravel because it just keeps rolling so um all this is still a little bit too thick so i will just rake this down again to make it thinner and find a balance between what is good enough to fill it in especially the patches with soil and uh, still good enough to walk on without rolling away on the sides what you saw me doing is this so we do not want this pathway to have you see like so we do, not, we do not want this pathway to have straight uh, edges we want it to look really natural and for that we just rake it basically um, out onto the uh, soil that is here and onto the moss uh, also what can be done you'll probably see that later on we just sprinkle it a bit so that gives it a very natural looking edge of this pathway all right let's continue with raking <music> Thank you. 
Abend. Good, and that is us pretty much done with the pathway, which brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching guys. See you next time. Bye.